Hello and welcome back to the channel. So there are some things that shouldn't even be a thing. There are some things that we should never hear of, but yet we are. We are definitely living in perilous times, y'all. I'm going to be reporting on the story that is very disturbing. It's beyond disturbing, but I am so glad that they caught this guy. This happened in Detroit, y'all, okay? And so this is some horrendous news, but I want to share it with you for a number of different reasons because um, it's very important that um, our people step up and do what New Era Detroit did. Okay. Uh, there's also a group called Detroit 300. Um, I'm not sure of any involvement they had in this particular case, but New Era Detroit was very instrumental in helping to get this one solved. So police finally caught the man who apparently uh, raped an elderly woman, 80 years old. Okay. And so to even hear of something like this, it makes you say to yourself, what is going on with these men what is going on with our people period you have people um, i talked about the other day i talked about um, abusing seniors and this here this guy he does the unthinkable now she wasn't his only victim apparently before the 80 year old woman they are connecting him to a 64 year old woman as well so anyway i'm gonna let you all uh, take a listen at the reporting on this. And of course, you know, I will be right back. Today in a horrific crime in Detroit, police have arrested this man saying they believe he sexually assaulted an 80 year old woman last week. Fox News' Dave Kinchin has been working the story all day and he's live for us tonight. Dave, what led investigator to the suspect? Well, this arrest is really the confluence of both the community out searching for this suspect, but really police announcing the suspect at four o'clock and just three hours later, they had their person in custody. Just a very good day for the city of Detroit to take someone like that off the streets. Detroit police say they got their man, Kenneth Davis Jr., arrested in Rouge Park on the city's west side just a few hours after top brass identified him as a suspect in the rape of an 80-year-old woman more than a week ago. And on Tuesday, cops linked him to another rape of a 64-year-old woman. Just a great effort by everybody, all of our units, our violent crime task force partners, the FBI, our narcotics unit. Basically, we weren't going home until this guy's in custody. Uh, Chief announced about four o'clock, put him out, and he told them, turn yourself in, we will hunt you down. And that's what we did. Nobody going home that works in my units. Everybody's out here and bad guy, a predator out here He's in custody. Commander Eric Decker of DPD's organized crime squad walks us through how the arrest went down. Units out surveillance picked him up and uh, led us to this location. He was with a uh, known person. Uh, they were parked here and taken down. There was no injuries. No instance. The arrest comes as a relief to many community leaders as well who have also been on the hunt. I ain't gonna lie to you, Dave. I wish we would have caught him first. Zeke runs the grassroots group New Era Detroit. They've been getting the word out since the first attack. Man, we just happy that he off the streets. You know, we, we've been working relentlessly, um, you know, day in and day out. Monday, you know, it happened on a Sunday. We've been out here working since Monday. Um, you know, a lot of people have been moving around. You know, I can speak for the whole community when I say that this was top priority um, on getting this guy off the street. Detroit police sources say DNA evidence led them to identifying Kenneth Davis Jr. as the suspect behind the March 26th attack on the 80-year-old woman at her home near the Southfield Freeway and I-96. Police say it started when he asked if she needed help with her packages. She said no, but he allegedly came back and entered the home through an open back door. Cops say he then asked for food and money. She told him to get out, only to be sexually assaulted moments later, according to detectives. That's a violent, violent person. So I'm going to go home and sleep good tonight. I hope everybody else does. Legendary Detroit rapper Trick Trick has worked with police on the search and he says they're not stopping with this case. We've become aware of other crimes that have taken place and other perpetrators in the same area. So it's it's a constant thing. We have we have to stay on it. We have to stay on it. It doesn't risk. We don't risk. 
Now, that second rape that happened yesterday with the 64-year-old, that is still under investigation. That took place over at Grand River and Ferguson in that area. Reporting live at Detroit Police Headquarters, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yes, and police have said, Dave, that they believe he did attack those two women within the last week. Do they think that the suspect may be responsible for even more sexual assaults? Well, they're certainly investigating and looking at everything as they typically do in a case like this. They will certainly run a list of other uh, reports that they're investigating and see if there might be any matches, especially uh, sources say because there is a DNA that they have in this case linking those two. So that remains to be seen. But as standard procedure, they certainly look at other cases that have happened in the area and see if there might be any matches. Okay, so this man's name is Kenneth Davis Jr. What he did was horrendous. What he did, I am so glad to hear that they got this man off the streets. And I hope he spends a lot of time in prison thinking about what he has done. Now this woman is 80 years old. She didn't get this far in her life to have something like this happen at the hands of somebody who's young enough to be her great grandson. Not just her, but the 64 year old that they are saying he victimized as well. What he did to these women was, it was just, I don't know what's going on in these men's minds, only to say that there's definitely a presence of demonic activity. Now, they will call it mental illness. They will call it whatever they want to call it. But we all know that there are devils at work and that these people are out here doing things. And they call it demon time. Uh, Some people call it demon time. Okay, rightfully so. Uh, Some people believe that you're just simply picking on these black men. But this right here, this had uh, New Era Detroit so upset that those brothers took to the streets right away. And I take my hat off to New Era Detroit and Detroit 300 groups who have said, look, we are not going to sit back and allow these things to happen in the black community and not say anything and not speak up. These brothers, they go out there and they handle their business, right? When I saw the video first posted on um, Facebook uh, with the brothers from New Era Detroit, they were visibly upset. And as you saw in the video, they even told the cops, they said, I'm glad you found them before we did. (laughs) You see, this is what we need. We need in the black community, our own people standing up, taking to the streets and getting this type of devil off of the streets. Look in those cold, dead eyes. Hats off to New Era Detroit for not just pounding the pavement but making people aware that this even took place. And so I'm hoping that this type of thing will continue to happen where our people will stand up. Not not the crime. I I hope that our people standing up will deter the crime because as, as they stated, we coming for you, we're looking for you. You're not gonna just live out your life and your time here in the city thinking you're gonna do these things and nobody's gonna check you on it. I am so grateful to hear that New Era Detroit stepped up in this way. And I really hope and pray, I hope and pray that they increase in numbers with good, righteous men who want to do the right thing for the black community and that other groups similar will raise up because this is what it takes. There's one thing for police to come in and do what they do, but it's another thing for a black face who cares about the people of the community to come in and say, we will not stand for you hurting our women, our children, our elderly, or even our men. You will not come to the city of Detroit or whatever city that is predominantly black and commit a crime and get away with it. This is what we need. We need for the righteous to stand up, be strong, be the heads that the Most High have called them to be. Be that strong force that is needed in the black community. Anyway, I want to know your thoughts on this whole thing. Again, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that they got this 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 demon off the streets. I want to call him something else, but I'm glad he's off the streets. For what he did to these 
seniors, these elders. Back in Bible days, I don't even think he would still be breathing. If y'all know what I mean. Anyway, I'm done with this video. Chime in below. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.